Nope. 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 I was horrified. I was horrified. I was afraid. I thought that something bad was going to happen to me. Do you see this? This kid is looking juicy. Wow. And it's not even like, oh my gosh. What up, Wagwan? At the Saint, it's your girl, Mina. We are in a whole entire new year, okay? Let's just catch up. Let's see what's going on. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. If you have, I'm glad you're here. As always, you know this, okay? Make sure you text me. Number's right here on the screen. Subscribe, of course, and comment, and let me know what your thoughts are on any of the topics in today's video. Let's go. So I don't even know where to begin because I have not filmed a video in two weeks. My lips are dry. I just don't understand. Let me whip up my chat and put on my lip primer and then get this show on the road. Clearly need to do my hair. I'm almost there, but my hair's not done. Obviously gotta put the unit on. All right, we're just doing a little chit chat, okay? Now the unit I'm putting on is gonna be this half up, half down situation. It's my old faithful. We already talked about this. You may have seen my holiday makeup, hair and makeup tutorial that included this. You may also have seen me wear this a million times over the past two years. You may have seen me laying down my hair last week or so. Whenever you see this video, it might be a week or so. But this is my old faithful hairstyle. And you see how you just tuck all that in? Yo, you can't tell me nothing. I have purchased this so many times. I love the synthetic nature of it all. I wore this one time and obviously had a great time while wearing it. So it is snaggly in the back, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, we're not going anywhere. And if you haven't, I did a video on reels where I showed you how to detangle. Okay, I'll link the reel below so you can watch on how I detangle this. I didn't do that now because I didn't feel like it, but if it gets really bad, I will do that. Or I might just throw it out and get a new one. Okay, praise his name. So let's talk. So it's the new year, it's 2022. You feel what I'm saying? I'm grateful, forever grateful just for being alive. You feel what I'm saying? There are many people who aren't even here with us and there are people who are sick with COVID who have already have COVID. Let me actually talk about COVID for a second. I never told y'all, but I had COVID, okay? I had it at some point last year. I did not share it online because I was horrified. I was horrified, I was afraid. I thought that something bad was going to happen to me and I just could not deal with having to update everyone. I could only handle updating my family. So I just, I could not, I could not be doing the whole IG update. Here's how I'm doing all the DMs, all the this, all the comments, and then maybe some judgment. I just did not have the time for all that. I just could not. And honestly and truly, I was terrified because a lot of what I hear, and I'm sure you too, is hospitalization, blah, blah, dot, dot. And you know, I already had the vaccination. I had both doses. And then uh, two weeks ago, before I went to Cabo, I got the booster, but still, right? I got COVID. So I had it and I was just too terrified to even talk about it with people or even hear any unsolicited advice, honestly. God be the glory. It was mild. Obviously, I'm still here to even talk about it. So thank God for that. Thank God I'm alive. Thank God for all of you, obviously, who are watching this. You clearly alive, praise his name, okay? So we thank the Lord for you. And blessings and prayers, obviously, out for any of you who know someone that ain't with us anymore after what's going on, which we're still in the midst of. I had gotten comfortable not wearing my mask as much as things seemingly started to lighten up or loosen up, but clearly that's not the case. I don't plan on stopping living my life like travel and things. However, I did recently purchase some N95 masks, which I never had even in the beginning. I had ordered two at the very beginning of the pandemic. And then I had sent them to my mom because she has pre-existing comorbidities. So I sent them to her because she clearly needs them way more than me. I 
am forever grateful to just be alive, to be thriving, to be happy, to be traveling, to have my family, to have my husband, all of the things. Just so grateful for all of that. I, my skin feels great. I had a breakout recently when my skin has healed so lovely and I do see some dryness around my mouth. I will prime. You know what? A while ago, I remember how I never used the Hydro Grip Primer because I didn't want to be hydrated. Well, since we are in the winter and my skin has been feeling dry, I decided to give the Hydro Grip a try and I like it. So I get why y'all love it, okay? I do get it. You're not gonna catch me dead in my casket in the summertime with this on, but in the wintertime, like where we at right now, right now, you catching me in it. My skin is just dewy because I've done my skincare, I've got my SPF on, all the major things. That's looking white because I'm sure it's blending in with my SPF. I'm gonna leave it and not disrupt it too much. Two foundations that I'm gonna mix today, and I never do this, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing it. Maybelline Fit Me did a video on this, it's $10. It's really, really bomb. Watch that video. This is the color 375. It is dark for me. And because it's really dark for me, I'm going to use the Morphe Filter Effects All Focus Foundation Medium to Full Coverage. This is the color Filter D35. It is too light. I guess it matched me at one time. I don't even know. I really don't even know why I have that. <laughs> that color is light right now. I did get dark in Cabo. I mean, it is still warm in Houston, girl. I don't know, but that color is just too light. It's warm, which is fine depending on the shade, but it just, that does just not fit me at all. So I'm gonna take some of the Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, mind you. It's a tinted moisturizer that has some good coverage, baby. And then we're gonna take some of the filter effect and then we're gonna just blend it a little bit. Do y'all mix your foundations? I do not typically do this. Comment and let me know. But I am trying to rotate through products that I have and like that I just haven't used in a while. And these two were one of them. And I said, wait a minute, let me take it out. And then I was like, wait, <laughs> it don't match. What's going on? So this is okay. It looks like I used a little more of the filter effect Morphe than I needed, but I think it'll all come, yeah, 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 it'll, it'll come together. So as you saw, I mixed a dark and a light foundation together to get a color that matches me. I have gotten questions about what to do in the winter time when your foundation no longer matches you. If you're going based on your summer color, then your foundation is likely too dark for you because in the summer you're a little bit darker, right? So in this case, you can do what I did, which is mix a lighter foundation with what you have right now, which is too dark for you. I did this already a few times, so I knew I could just look and gauge how much of each product I need. You are going to have to try it out and just really see, you know, and just feel free to add on top. I don't know, you gotta add before it really sets in to make sure that you have enough of both of the foundations to get the color that you need to match your skin. Or of course, you just go and buy a whole new foundation. Now, how do you know which foundation is your shade? Well, baby, for me, the best bet is to try that foundation out, honey. Yeah, I believe now you can you can try on foundations, baby girl. Go with no makeup on to any of the large stores. This skin is looking dewy. Do you see this? This skin is looking juicy. Wow. And it's not even like, Oh my gosh. Both of these products are obviously giving us a satin finish. This looks so good. Okay, so I like to try things on. Now, if you don't like that or you don't have the time for that, but you do have a semi-flexible budget, go to the drugstore and maybe stick with the same product that you're using right now. Let's say for instance, you have a MAC foundation that used to rock with you real good in the summertime and right now it's looking real wild, then take that foundation this is the Elf Hydrating Camo. This is the color Deep Chestnut. Take that number. Let's say you are NW45, which I used to be. Believe it or not, I used to be NW45 12 years ago. This is insanity, okay? Look how dark I am now, which I have no problem with. It's just that I look so different. When I look at pictures, I'm like, what? Like, you would think that I was bleaching, but I wasn't. That was my skin tone back in Rhode Island when we didn't have this much sun. It's just so sick, you know? Take your color and and then get a few other colors lighter than what you have. So if you are, let's say, wearing NW45, then perhaps you go in and get 42 and 40. Or get a sample. Mac used to give samples. I don't know about right now if they still do that. Get a sample, you know what I'm saying? And go try it out. You should be given enough of a sample to go home and put it on your full face to see what's going on.
going on. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error and then you go from there. But you certainly want to make sure that you have enough foundations where you can switch it up, especially if you're on vacation and you about to be in a sunny location. You need to bring another foundation that's a little bit darker because what you don't want is for the foundation you had on day one to be looking real crazy on day three of your vacation because you got darker. That is not what you want to go down, okay? But I do have this product from NYX that I've been meaning to show for y'all and it's gonna show you how to change the undertone of your foundation and also change the shade, alter the shade, you know, make it darker, make it lighter, whatever you need at that time, okay? So stay tuned for that. I've got it on my list. So yeah, that's that on that. I had my birthday last month, which is so exciting. Your girl is 36 whole entire years old. I can't even believe it because I don't feel 36. I don't look 36, you know what I'm saying? It's so crazy because growing up, all of my cousins who were in their late 30s, I used to view them as being mad old, like, ew. <laughs> Like, what do you do at that age? And now look at me. But listen, baby, I am in my prime. You have no idea. I am so much in my prime. It makes me so sick. So I'm like, uh-uh. I'm not one of the people who are trying to run away from my age. Oh, no, baby. I am embracing all of it because I feel good. I look good. Obviously, I still have health goals that I want to meet this year. And God willing, I'm going to smash those goals. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, we're not going to be hiding behind behind closets like baby's still going to live baby's still going to travel baby's still going to just do her and do it well you know <gasps> i'm looking very light on camera and that is not how it's looking in real life like how in the whole entire world now deep chest nut from elf cosmetics in the matte version of this concealer is not as warm as it is in the hydrating version and that sometimes does happen when form formulas change on products like this. FYI, if you wear deep chest not like the kid, okay? I need you to comment on my most recent vlog and let me know how you feeling it because listen, I'm proud of myself for the elevation of the content, okay? I'm very proud of myself when it comes to that. Don't play the kid, don't play yourself. Let me know what's, what's good. Let me know how you feeling about it. <laughs> Cause I know it's mad bomb and stuff. And you know, and I'm still enjoying this good apple skin perfecting foundation bomb. This is just random conversation. You feel what I'm saying right today? Okay, good, praise his name. And this is the Sephora 56 brush. Let's talk about something. Do you feel like when you go on vacation, and I was telling my girlfriend this and we agreed, so this is not about her. But do you feel like when you go on vacation, you need to do everything with the person you go on. That's number one. Would you go on a solo vacation? That's number two. And I asked this because as you saw in my video, I was supposed to go on a solo vacation, which I was looking forward to. And I thought it would be a great challenge and it would be fun content. But then my girlfriend was like, yo, will you, you know, let me, I'm coming with you to that. And I was like, okay, well then girl, let's go. And sure enough, she showed up. You see what I'm saying? So shout out to her because that's, that's a real one for real. Cause I was telling her how, I was talking about what my goals were for the vacation. And that's what I started doing these days. If I'm going on a vacation with anybody, even my husband, I'm like, okay, what are your goals for this trip? What do you want to get out of it? And then I tell what I want to get out of it because we may want to get different things out of the trip. And I am comfortable in my skin enough to allow you to get what you want to get out of it while I also get what I want to get out of it. And it not affecting what we do together on that trip. You feel me? So if I want to label by the pool for four days and go to the gym and get my coffee and whatever else but you want to go to the gym the whole time or you want to be in the pool the whole time or you want to sleep the whole time that's not going to threaten what i'm about to do on a vacation you do what you want to do to make yourself happy and i'm gonna do what i want to do to make myself happy comment and let me know what you feel about that because to me that's an appropriate way for an adult to behave but i have been in situations where it feels like well we all should do we all should do no i'm grown baby <laughs> i'm a grown-up like a real big 
kid growing up. You see what I'm saying? And I don't subscribe to groupthink, okay? I don't subscribe to the notion that we all should do, we all should think. Absolutely not. I will think and I will do what I want to think and what I want to do. And that is okay. It should not threaten anybody else. But she and I were talking about it and she was like, oh yeah, 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 I agree. And you know, that's part of why we get along so well is this whole, you can be you and I can be me and we can be and that's okay. You see? Ooh, I like it. I'm spitting boars or whatever. <laughs> Hi. So that was really a great thing for me because I, as you know, am an early bird. In no way would I ever want to make anyone who travels with me feel like they need to get up at the crack of dawn with me. Absolutely not. You know why? Because I'm grown and this is what I want to do. So I'm going to go get up and you can join me whenever you wake up and then we can do whatever we decide at that time. And that's okay. Like, do you feel like you are not going to have fun unless you're doing something with somebody else? Come in and let me know because I do not like that. <laughs> We gotta be able to be independent, not codependent, baby. We gotta be able to do it by ourselves, you know? So I just love the freedom of being able to do that and it not being a problem. Everything does not need to be a problem, you know? Like, if you wanna sleep the whole time, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, this is why I can't be traveling with people. Y'all so annoying, you don't want to do anything fun. And I've been in these situations, I was younger, I wasn't as self-aware, and I fed into it like, okay, 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 fine, let's do, nope, nope. Nope. I am so grown that if this is what I want to do and that's what you want to do, the two of those things can coexist and I can still be happy. If you're not going to be happy, that's on you, baby. That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> I just wanted to bring it up to see how y'all feel about it. But like I said, it's not on my friend. She agreed because she likes to sleep and I don't blame her, you know? She's got two small kids and a teenager and she don't rest very well. Hell, I don't even rest very well, you know? And I just got knee over here. But uh, she likes to get her rest, even just in every day, not just on vacation. She, like you, this is Fenty Pro Filter for Fenty. She, like you, knows that I like to get up early. Now, on vacation, I have really been enjoying sleeping in and in is seven o'clock, <laughs> which I'm sure for you, you're like, excuse me, that is still early. But I've been enjoying sleeping in then more than usual, but she doesn't do that, okay? And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with her getting out of it, out of the trip what she wants, while I also get out of the trip what I want, which is to get, like, my body is up at four o'clock. And even Kaba was, what, one hour before us, something like that, whatever it was. I was still, like, my body was still, I was still tossing and turning around five something, and sunrise was six something. And I'm just in the bed with my, my earpiece in listening to a, some sort of you know morning sermon something something and then I get up quietly I'm not gonna be rude and start disrupting and making you wake up no I don't believe in that that's real childish and I would just make my way downstairs and she knew where to find me and it just was what it was and it was just so good like I just love that that mutual respect but then of course as you saw we did some fun things like jet skiing like sitting by the pool like going to dinner uh, so on and so forth. So I do believe that it's just so good to be able to be independent, but then also come together in a way that satisfies both people. Now on the topic of friendships, let's talk about something else too. Oh, I forgot to set my contour, but that's because it looks so good already. Like it doesn't look like I need it. So I'm not going to, I'm gonna just leave it where it's at. Okay. Now on the topic of friendships, let's talk about something. So I don't believe we talked about this in my video where I talked about losing myself. I don't believe we touched on this, but either way, let's go into it, okay? I don't believe in always inviting people to things just because you know them. That also to me is some form of group think, group pressure, default, let's just do this because we always do. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that because I know you, this is not about anyone in particular, so please don't read in between the lines. And if you know me in real life, this is not about you in particular. This is literally just a conversation that I just wanna have. So I don't believe in being like, oh, because I know you, or I've known you since hoo hoo and ha ha, and I'm doing something, now I need to invite you. No ma'am, if I feel like 
having you at this said event or situation would be fun or great if I want to, then I will invite the person. I don't feel pressed to do things just because it will look bad if I don't do it. Are you reading between the lines? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm not saying this because I feel this way or I'm in that circumstance. I'm not because I refuse, but I'm saying it because I know it happens. Where you're like, okay, if I don't invite so-and-so, it's gonna look like X, Y, and Z, so let me go ahead and invite that person. Absolutely not. Like what? I'm what again? Grown. What kind of grown? Full grown. You see? And I just, ugh. I just can't stand stuff like that. Like, it's just like, yo, like how old are we right now? I'm not doing it. And perhaps it's a function of me being confrontational. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Let's clarify that being confrontational does not have to def by default mean aggressive. Yes, I can be aggressive. I don't skirt around that at all. It has certainly helped me and protected me on many occasions. It has hurt me too, but it's not about that. Okay, praise his name. But being confrontational just means that if anyone were to be like, yo, what happened? Why didn't you invite me to the first of all, it takes guts to even say something like that. Like, yo, wow, you didn't even invite me. <laughs> not a lot of people can do something like that. Hello, I can, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of folks can do something like that, but I believe in having the power and the prerogative to make those decisions for yourself and if I I've grown I've grown into this I've grown into this hello but I believe if I'm let's just say for example not invited to something I don't care there is of course a caveat to that if this is someone that I talk to all the time <laughs> And you having something and you don't invite me? Well, damn. I'd be like, excuse me, well, why are we even friends? What are we? You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about maybe it's an acquaintance. Maybe you don't talk that much and then something going on and then you don't get an invitation. Yeah, I know you, but it's not by force. You know, I don't believe in things being compulsory. I just really, really don't. But I do understand that for some people, in this specific scenario, it could be bothersome, worrisome, offensive, hurtful. I do get it, but I'm just sharing so we can discuss this topic in the comments because I don't care because I have other things to think about. I have bigger fish to fry of a life, you know? Like, oh my God, I'm saying this because I just get irritated when <laughs> things get made a big deal when it doesn't need to be a big deal. Now, I do not like for my feelings to be ignored. I'm not encouraging that, I'm just saying. Now, Speaking of feelings, girl, cause we talking about the whole thing, okay? Speaking of feelings, one of the focuses for myself for this year is honoring my feelings. If I feel sad, if I feel offended, if I feel like I need a break, if I feel anxious, whatever it is, I'm honoring my feelings and I'm not going to rush myself through my feelings just to help things be easier for someone else. I'm not going to deny myself my feelings just for the sole comfort of someone else, right? We've all felt something before and then because we are upset or hurt or sad, that then leads to the discomfort of someone else. And so that we don't further discomfort that person, we rush through how we feel just to make things smooth, to make things less tense, whatever it is. And for me this year, it's a no, that's how I feel. And it's a when I'm ready and over it, I'ma let you know. You see what I'm saying? Now this has nothing to do with the former conversation. These two are separate, but I'm just saying this year, I'm like, you know what? No, I deserve to have my feelings honored and I'm not going to allow anyone to make me feel like, well, no, well, you shouldn't feel that way or whatever it is. We we all know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. People can sometimes discount how you feel and then here you are rushing to just feel better, just to appease that person. No, the answer is a hard no.
Okay, now I normally do not put on eyeshadow without a base. I do not advise it. The only time that I do it is when I'm doing my basic everyday look when I put a bronzer or my face powder on my eyelid. That's when I do it because to me it's a very simple look. Now, because I have nowhere to go today and I just didn't feel like it, I did not put a primer on and I'm gonna wash this face off in maybe four hours. So it is what it is, but I do not advise to do this often because your eyeshadow isn't gonna last long and then you're not gonna get a bright color payoff. So with the color that I used, if I wanted it to be brighter, then putting down an eyeshadow base first would be required. Now this mascara, when I first tried it out, I was not pleased. I didn't care about what it was doing, but I see now after using it for a while, Maybelline Lash Sational Sky High Mascara, I see now that once it gets clumpy, it does go on nicely and give a nice thick coating so there's that if you use this comment and let me know I'm enjoying it now that it's thicker I'm still not gonna put on the bottom lashes because I still just really love Lawless one and zane, hello. And I'm still playing in this drugstore palette or whatever. Milani all-inclusive eye cheek face palette. And my tear duct, I'm gonna use this middle color right here. It's a little shimmer. It's an eyeshadow color. It's gonna go right here in my tear duct. Hi, it's giving champagne wine. It's not giving the pop that I need. <gasps> But let me see, where's my Urban Decay All Nighter Satin Spray? See, I gotta be rotating my stuff, man. Because if I sprayed this, it would give more amplification. I do have this NYX Dewy Finish Spray. I'm not putting it on my face because my face is looking dewy or satin. I wouldn't say dewy so much. It's looking satin and I don't wanna intensify anymore. I sprayed this, taking some more of the shadow, topping off the excess as always. Look at that. I'm going gently because I don't want, I don't want to regret how it looks. Okay, so this is my first time using this Makeup Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon. Interestingly, it does take some pressure to get the color on, but I do like it because when I think of a lip crayon, I think of something that's real cheap and it's gonna come off when I go like this. And that is not happening, so I do like that about it. And this color is complementary to the eye look. Do you see that? Mm, 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 mm. So I like that or whatever. And then I'm gonna do a gloss. Revolution Gloss Shimmer Balm Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. This is the color Starlight. Ooh, big, fat, juicy Joe foot. Reminds me of the packaging for their concealer. Ooh, ooh, yes. Ooh. Does it have a scent to it? Hold on. Ooh, this made my day. Mm. Light, light scent. Oh, I like this so much. I wasn't sure how this would come out. Ooh, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna link all of this below for the kid, okay? Comment and let me know how much you enjoyed this look. What part of it was your favorite? Also, I don't even know where we left off. I just jumped into doing the eye. Happy New Year to you, you and you. Glad you watched this video. As always, watch all of my videos. Sunday vlogs, Tuesdays and Wednesdays I upload as well. Make sure you text me. Number is always in the description box and subscribe because if you made it this far you might as well you ain't gotta pay it's just a, it's just a subscribe that's free <laughs> you can see that at least a little bit and sweatshirt is nike in case you did not already notice got this from the outlet i'm sure there's no link but i'm gonna do what i can we'll link everything else in the box for you and as always glad you're here thanks for watching my video i'm gonna see you again in the next one peace out bye